ये फियर ऑफ मिसिंग आउट पोमो जो यंगस्टर्स uh, में है सभी में है स्रोत इसका क्या है कि कुछ भव्य है वहाँ पर जो मिस कर जाऊँगा या कर जाऊँगी अगर एक महीने के बाद इंस्टा चेक नहीं किया या ट्विटर चेक नहीं किया जो आई थिंक दिस फियर शुड डेफिनेटली बी देयर फियर ऑफ मिसिंग आउट बट फियर ऑफ मिसिंग आउट वॉट वी ऑल आर मिसिंग आउट बट ऑन वॉट मिसिंग आउट तो हो रहा है बट नो बडी आस्क वॉट इज इट डेट वी आर मिसिंग और मिसिंग आउट ऑन इफ वी कुड रियली नो वॉट इज इट डेट वी लैक और मिस लाइफ वुड बी डिफरेंट सो इट्स लाइक दिस आई एम आई एम I'm missing the wisdom in those books, hmm? and I'm trying to compensate for it through this tea. Hmm. 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 I think that fear is an auspicious thing. Hmm? That fear that tells you that life is being wasted. Mm. I think we all should experience that fear and acknowledge that fear because that fear is there. It needs to be just acknowledged. Mm. It is not that we don't have fear. We don't have honesty. Mm. Huh? Mm. And we don't have enquiry. We don't have genuine curiosity to know what is it that we genuinely lack. Mm. Hmm. I have been with this cup a zillion times before. Has it helped? If it hasn't helped, why do I hmm. continue to sip? Why do I do this? Hmm? Hmm. I think the entire population of Earth must have FOMO. Hmm. <laughs> yes. But hmm. in a wise sense. Hmm. we are missing out on our potentiality we are missing out on something very very important mm. this is the one and final life that we have this is the sole opportunity that we have and it's slipping away without our consent and none of us is in a in a good space we are all you know just squirming and going about our daily business in a Uh, very uncomfortable way mm. we are missing peace we are missing truth we are missing simplicity mm. but nobody says that i fear missing out on peace we say you know i am afraid all of them will have happy nests and i won't have kids mm. you know i am afraid that chap will have uh four foreign tours before 35 and i'll have just one i'm afraid he'll have a, a glossy million foreign subscribers and million i don't subscribers have. i won't mm. have he'll mm. have a glossy foreign degree and i won't have or money obviously money mm. any number subscribers money mm. um, if i'm in politics then followers mm. so that's what now we it's not that we don't know that something is amiss with us we know something is wrong with us mm, mm. but we don't have the sharp penetrative inquiry and honesty to know what is it that we really lack mm. and we should be cautious of those who tell us that we lack nothing mm. 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 that often wordsmiths yeah, mm. they these wordsmiths mm. are uh, abundant in the spiritual domain absolutely. absolutely the first thing that they tell you is mm. you are the true self pure atma you lack nothing mm. 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 your true nature is brahma swabhav mm. and because you are brahma mm. 
what can you want you are already complete mm. now that fellow is plagued by a thousand kinds of ignorance self doubt fear insecurity this that fomo mm. and he has been told that he is all right as he is mm. you know have you not heard this yes many times you are times. good as you are you are beautiful as you are yeah. you are all right as you are you are wonderful as you are yeah. so this is the worst thing somebody can tell you exactly it's like a doctor telling a patient you are all right as you are mm. go home mm. Hmm. Hmm. He is a patient. He is suffering. Hmm. 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 In his own eyes, he is not the true self. He is the ego, hmm. and the ego is suffering. Hmm. You better give some relief to him rather than telling him that you are not the ego. You are the true self. Hmm. Does that really establish him in the true self? No, it does not. Hmm. you are merely giving the ego a play thing you are merely giving the ego some words to amuse itself with now the ego is saying i am brahm the ego is saying i am the true self mm. huh? and, and that's a great calamity and that's happening all around yeah we have to see we are we are not all right mm. we are not all right mm. you know uh, sorry i'll just i'm just interjecting uh, because this i was when i was speaking today to uh, my group of people like people i asked if you want to just put forward any inquiry so they said this was very rampant at least four four to five people actually asked this that how we are looking for you know uh, a guru per se or somebody who can show the light be the light and you know um, henceforth but how do you tell you know in this mushrooming of so many gurus in all shapes sizes colors how do you tell who's an authentic one and uh, secondly this was my personal question that have we seen any progress so far is there hope no, no, you cannot you cannot uh, figure out who a real guru is that's that's not possible you can only be a real inquirer you have to be a real seeker of of whatever you truly want hmm hmm, hmm. you have no seeking hmm so anybody comes and fools you hmm i go to a marketplace i do not know what i want how will i know who is selling authentic goods hmm I have no genuine need. I have no genuine need. Somebody says, "You, you take this. This will brighten up your mood." But I have no need to brighten up my mood. Hmm. Hmm. I am in such darkness that even the need to have brightness is gone. Hmm. Hmm. Now somebody says, "You take this. This will do well for you." Hmm. It doesn't do anything for me. Will I still complain? i won't because i won't even know that something has not worked for me why because i never wanted genuinely anything to work for me because i was never a true seeker in the first place hmm. see understand this please hmm. i am thirsty i'm dying of thirst hmm. i come to you hmm. you are a fake guru hmm. i say i'm dying of thirst you give me some chalk powdered chalk <laughs> how long will it take me to know that you are fake then and there immediately i'll know you are fake why will i know you are fake i know you are fake because my thirst is real hmm. Hmm. my thirst is real i came to you to be quenched and you couldn't quench me very good point hmm. Hmm. but if i have no thirst at all and i come to you and i say you give me something that will be good for me and you give me some chalk hmm. and i'll say wow nice thing pure and white hmm i'll put it to my forehead and take it home hmm. that's what we are doing hmm. so and then we ask how do we determine a true guru what will you do with a true guru hmm when you yourself are not a true seeker you do not <laughs> want hmm. exactly you do not want anything hmm. that's true hmm. why will you want a true guru Hmm. Not have you ever your... sought a true companion? Have you sought a true job? Have you sought a true book? Hmm. No, all those things in life are false. Hmm. But you want a true guru. You will get charlatans, as most people do. Yes. Have you ever thought why so many false 
gurus exist in the first place mm. who accorded in the status of guru who the public the public people. right the public the people now how is it possible that the public is calling this particular man guru 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 and millions of people are calling him a guru whereas he is inwardly totally shallow how is it possible it is possible because none of those seekers have any genuine inquiry hmm. they themselves so, are shallow they have no good questions to ask yeah. they have no true desires to be met hmm. 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 i have no good question to ask hmm. how will i know whether you are just shallow hmm. so i sit in front of you and say gurudev just say something hmm. and gurudev says something hmm. and whatever guru says is lapped up is lapped up by the followers right hmm. Hmm. you have no criteria to determine whether what that fellow is saying is useful why because the criteria is your honest acknowledgement of your own suffering you have never honestly acknowledged that you are rotten inwardly hmm hmm all you what you are saying is i am already all right i am just going to guruji to gather some more spiritual points you know i am all right hmm so guruji is having a field day hmm very happy and and raising followers doing this doing that in fact he is providing you with all that you falsely want mm. you know we are talking of yes. fomo mm. Hmm? Mm. truly we want peace and the truth mm. but we don't acknowledge that mm. falsely we want ostentation glamour power pelf prestige all those things mm. guruji does not give you what you truly want because even you do not want what you truly want so you go to guruji to get what you falsely want and guruji gives you in abundance what you falsely want hmm hmm you are a lover of great clothes hmm. guruji will display all kinds of fashion lines to you hmm hmm, hmm. guruji is himself a, a walking designer label yes hmm. right hmm. You, you you love this that whatever whatever you want in life all that guruji is ostentating to you hmm what else do you want had you wanted the truth guruji would have been exposed because guruji had no truth to give you mm. but you wanted glamour guruji prevailed over you because guruji had ample glamour to dominate you with mm. Mm. so first of all you must know what you want your own deep desire will differentiate the real from the fake hmm i have a burning question and and I, that question is my life that question is my breath that question is my heartbeat no i'm i can't live without the solution hmm. i come to you and i say please tell me hmm. and you come a cropper you know nothing will i stay with you no that's what i have no question therefore i stay with you hmm. had i had any genuine inquiry i could not have been fooled by this person so am i being fooled by this person at all no i am being by fooled by my own lack of inquiry that is by my own ignorance which is really my dishonesty hmm. no because questions do exist i don't acknowledge them because i want to tell myself i am hunky dory all well nice good happy sunday hmm. Hmm? so will it only take disasters will it only take mishaps for in people in most cases yes hmm? in most cases yes accidents Unless life gives us terribly rude shocks we don't want to acknowledge we have been wrong all the time hmm we don't want to acknowledge that it takes it takes something of an earthquake hmm to to make us acknowledge our reality sometimes even earthquakes are not sufficient hmm. even even this pandemic uh, did not really succeed in in driving sense into people hmm. Hmm? though some people did wake up but who are those people who wake up who who lost their near ones who lost their businesses mm. who who came under all kinds of pressures mm. they were the ones who realized how fake and make believe their world was mm. others they continue with their utopia and their dreams mm. yeah, that's how the world is <laughs> mm. Mm. what a fake guru is really scared of is a true inquirer Hmm. That's true. What a true guru really loves is a true inquirer. Hmm. It's just that a true inquirer is rare. Hmm. Hmm. 
and why were we even even using the word guru simply substitute guru with a wise man forget even a wise man simply substitute wise man with a decent person you know when you say guru you imagine so much hmm? all kinds of images ha huh? so you have orange robes and long beards and all kinds of things hmm yeah. the fellow is speaking sanskrit all the time hmm. imaginations hmm. so don't say guru simply say a decent human being hmm. decent human being exactly don't exalt them to i mean <laughs> yeah one of my endeavors has been to bring some reality into the concept of the guru mm. otherwise the guru has been inflated into such a mythical figure it is true that the guru has become totally use, useless for everybody mm. not only useless actually harmful hmm. Hmm? yeah so the the guru has to be brought down to earth mm. and and he should be allowed to exist just as a decent human being mm. Hmm? Mm. Hmm. 2016 when we came here Rishikesh the first uh, MDT we okay. called myth demolition tour okay hmm? so there was this poster we put up uh, there were a lot of westerners here this okay. this place is uh, full of westerners they come here especially in the winters hmm and they were all either enlightened or very close to being enlightened so okay <laughs> so we put up this poster and uh, we said you know forget enlightenment forget enlightenment be a be a human first be a human being first okay yeah yeah, yeah. forget enlightenment be a human being first hmm. so that's what hmm this enlightenment and all that crap hmm. has to be done away with hmm. being a decent human being is sufficient and being a decent human being is very difficult hmm? yeah so hmm. but if we say that you know we are what what we are actually saying is most human beings are indecent we don't want to hear that hear that so we say we are decent hmm. now beyond decency we want enlightenment <laughs> yeah hmm? we are saying our condition is already all right in the sense that we are at least decent now we want to go beyond our decency and get some you know, enlightenment uh, the the bite of the bigger apple yes mm. no you don't need enlightenment you just need to be a decent human being and that's an onerous thing mm. not at all easy it requires years of education just to be a decent human being you're not born decent mm the kid is born extremely indecent hmm all mothers know that all fathers know that hmm we all know that hmm? we are born indecent and then as we travel through our education we are made even more indecent hmm we are made so indecent that the kid appears innocent in comparison that's why we call kids as innocent no hmm. oh, such such an innocent kid the kid is not innocent at all the kid is actually quite Uh, quite a crooked being hmm? very ignorant not at all innocent he knows it hmm. Hmm. Uh, but because we are even more crooked hmm. so in comparison we say that the kid is innocent hmm. Hmm? so so this this game of ignorance crookedness has to ultimately give way to just simple pure decency hmm not ornamentation of any kind not enlightenment or some other puffed up thing you see had we had decent gurus would you need to ask all the questions you have been asking since the last 2 hours huh hmm. had the society had uh, some decent teachers hmm. i'm not talking about mathematics teachers i'm talking about teachers of life hmm. i'm talking about teachers in the sense of rishis hmm. 
Hmm. Had the societies, said the society had decent teachers, would you need to converse with me on molestation and sexual abuse and fear of missing out and all these other diseases? Hmm. If the society is in such a bad shape, is it not clear evidence that we do not have good teachers? Oh, we have melodramatic gurus uh, who, who just uh, dominate the landscape. Yes, and how? Mm -hmm. And how? And mm. They are extremely sensational and all those things. Mm. We don't even have half decent teachers. Mm. Uh, probably the time has come to do away with gurus. Mm. They haven't served us well. Hmm? Decent human beings would be sufficient. Mm. No? Mm. Wow, that was profound. Last line.